Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the foundations of real analysis. This is the introduction video for these uh, lecture courses we're going to, this uh, lecture video course we're going to create. Okay, so uh, let's just get right down to business and keep this video short and just straight up just say what's the basic goal of this course? Okay, so the goals of this course are pretty straightforward. And the first goal is just simply that we're going to essentially uh, uh, break uh, down uh, calculus and uh, build it right. Okay. So break down calculus and build it right. Uh, and, 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 and the second goal is just getting better at doing proofs. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of proof in this class. We're going to get a lot of practice with mathematical argument and uh, coming to firm conclusions. Okay, so uh, let's now go a little bit more into kind of where you're coming from in this class. So let's talk about kind of your knowledge. Oh, sorry. Your knowledge, kind of where you're starting from here, is that, you know, it, when you first started learning mathematics, you learned a lot of, um, of course, you started with basic, basic arithmetic. And then you use that basic arithmetic, counting and, and adding, subtracting, and stuff like that. And then you started learning about algebra. And from algebra, of course, you learn calculus. And then from calculus, you learn all sorts of things. DEs, uh, uh, linear algebra and so on and so forth. Uh, the list goes on here. Uh, all sorts of applied mathematics, pure mathematics, and so on and so forth. But that's your basic knowledge. But stored up in your progression of learning all this is lots of uh, what I would call implicit knowledge. Lots of implicit knowledge. Knowledge that you haven't quite examined, but you've been using all along. And that's really what the word implicit means. And so the idea is what we're going to do here, the kind of the, the high level goal is we're going to be, you know, the high level goal is to make uh, implicit, or sorry, you should say make explicit, make explicit. what is uh, implicit now. Okay, so we're going to be making explicit what is implicit. So one way to think about this is sort of like, you know, take all of your knowledge take all that knowledge and we're going to be moving it over into the unknown category. Okay, I'm going to put this sort of dotted line here. This is just sort of a, we're going to take all of your knowledge. We're going to put it over in the unknown category. And that includes, you know, um, you know all sorts of, uh, uh, you know, numbers. So things you think you really have a strong grasp on, like numbers. What are numbers? One, uh, two, three, and so forth. Uh, arithmetic. and algebra, uh, calculus. We're going to all put those all in the unknown category. And then the, the, the object of this course is really going to be taking everything out slowly. 
we're going to be bringing all this stuff out and building it right and put this in the known category. Okay. So that's the known category here. We're going to be taking things like numbers and building them right from, from a solid foundation. So the idea here is to make a solid uh, uh, logically founded or sort of a sol just basically a solid foundation make a solid foundation uh, 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 for your math okay so we're gonna make a solid foundation and we're gonna be doing that by um, by again moving everything that you think you know over into the unknown category here and slowly bringing things out uh, to the known category. And, the, and again, the challenge here, the challenge here is that we, you know, it, it's very difficult. <laughs> uh, we have to be careful uh, to not uh, use uh, knowledge uh, we have have oops in the uh, unknown uh, list. So this unknown list over here, as we bring out numbers, uh, we haven't yet really defined what arithmetic is, so we can't use arithmetic yet, or algebra, or calculus. As we're slowly bringing things out, we can't, uh, uh, we can't use some of the implicit knowledge we have in any explicit way until we've built it. And that becomes very challenging because you're going to all oftentimes in this in this course you'll have this you'll you'll have a an, a strong urge to use something we haven't proven yet because you you've already learned it at some previous point in your life uh, but we're going to be taking that very careful approach of building everything on a solid foundation we're not going to presuppose things before we prove them specifically so that I think uh, pretty much in a nutshell describes uh, some of the things that are going to go on in this course and sort of, uh, just to finish off, we're going to talk at least very broadly and very vaguely, really, about sort of themes. So, uh, broad themes here is we're going to be, uh, there's a lot of things we take for granted. Uh, and one of these ideas, and again, we're not going to go into too much detail, but that is this notion of existence. So existence, the idea of something is either is or is not. Uh, uh, you know, the, another way to say this is it's somewhere a valid, a valid thing. Uh, and and this is this notion of being something either existing or not existing, or being a valid concept or a not a valid statement is really important. We're going to be playing with that idea a lot. There's sort of this always a binary question is when we write something down or when we construct it, do, is, the, is the process we use or the assertions we use, are they valid in this case or not? And a lot of times uh, uh, examining the cases where something is not valid leads to, uh, uh, opens up new possibilities and we have to adjust things. Okay. Another is this notion of um, this, this, this sort of uh, notion of um, uh, 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 using the notion of approximation. So approximation shows up a lot in this course, and this idea of an iterative an iterative an iterative or algorithmic Uh, 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 or sequential is another way to say it. Uh, uh, approach. 
approach uh, to, um, uh, I guess you can call getting at a certain object, to, uh, uh, to uh, defining an object. Okay, and the idea here is that we, we've known this from uh, from doing calculus before, as we have a sequence, maybe we have x1 and, and it's some value. We're trying to get at this special value, call it x star, and then we go t and then we go on further, and there's x2 down here, and it gets, somehow gets a little closer, uh, and we're a little off, and then we go a little bit further, x3, x4. Each time, we get a little bit better or just slightly better at getting towards this object we're interested. And it turns out that x star uh, is uh, defined uh, by, by the algorithm or the sequence. Oops. It's uh, it's, it's def x star is defined by this sequence, um, and that's how we actually understand what x star is in terms of x1, x2, x3, x4, and so on forever. And so that notion is going to show up a lot. In fact, the, the notion that a sequence is actually the object we're interested in, and it actually constructs x star. x star is not something that exists outside or, um, or, or, or independently of the sequence itself. Um, and then finally, this notion of, uh, and so these two, I, I'll just leave it at that, that these two concepts will show up a lot in this course, and will, uh, in fact, it's a way we can actually make something that, that uh, isn't valid in and of itself. We can change it from not valid to valid uh, through the use of sequences. Okay, so those are some broad themes you're going to see in this course. And you'll see these same techniques applied over and over and over again in mathematics later on in your career. Uh, so uh, uh, the, these concepts, really were, it's, we're really approaching these for the first time and actually using them as a way to define things. And I think you're going to see that as being incredibly powerful and probably not something you really expected out of this course. All right. Well, anyway, in the next video, we'll be talking about set theory, and we can start the course in earnest from there. So thank you very much.